djembe, the most important thing is to remember the technique to play a djembe and the three sounds that you get when playing your djembe. The first sound that we're going to look at is the bass of the, the drum. The bass tone that we get is played in the middle of the drum, flat hand, fingers together. I normally keep my thumb slightly apart from my hand. It just gives me a, a much better sound when my hand strikes the drum. When you strike the drum, make sure it's placed in the middle of the drum like so, and then let your hand bounce right off the drum like so. You want to get the, the natural resonance of the drum, the, the, that deep, beautiful bass sound coming out. And that's the bass. The second sound that we get on the djembe uh, is the tone. Now the tone is played also with a flat hand like so, thumb away from the fingers, and your fingers from where they kind of meet the palm upwards, that part of your hand is what you use to play a tone. The tone is played by placing your hands on the drum like so. If you imagine that your djembe is like a watch or the face of a watch, that's five o'clock and that is seven o'clock. And uh, you'll notice that the edge of the drum is pretty much in line just under my knuckles over there. All right, thumb pointing away. When you play a tone, bounce your hand off the drum. Don't let it stick to the drum so we don't choke the sound of the drum. And the tone should go like this. That's the tone. The third sound that we get, which is always the slightly trickier one and takes a bit of time and practice, is the slap. The slap is very similar to a tone, but this time we're only going to use two parts of the hand. The bottom of our hand, the bottom of the palm, and our four fingertips. Um, we do not use the thumb because the thumb's really going to hurt if it connects with the drum. So here we go. To play a slap, we put our hands on the drum as if we were going to play tones. Then push your hands forward so that the bottom of your palm now reaches the edge, the rim of the drum. So place your hands like that. Okay? Thumbs pointing away from the drum all the time. Now, we spread our fingers slightly apart and relax them so that only our fingertips are touching the drum. So there we have our fingertips on the drum, thumbs pointing away, the bottom of the palm resting on the rim of the drum. The motion to get a really good slap is to imagine that your hands are going to become like whips. And this is the sort of motion that you're going to have when you strike the drum. As your hand comes up, the, mo the force of the momentum brings it down and the bottom of your palm lands on the edge of the drum, your fingers carry through, still spread apart, and your fingertips strike the head of the drum. So it should sound like this. It's a very loud, loud, popping, cracking sort of sound. It should be very distinct from your bass and your tone. And that is the best way to play a slap. Relax your hands as much as possible. Bass, toe, slap. Bass, toe, slap.